Hi everyone, this video is related to AWS Cloud and in this tutorial I'll show you how you create a key pair for your Amazon EC2 instance. Now there are two ways to do this, either through the console or in the terminal in the AWS CLI or command line interface. So let's start with the first method which is through the console and this task is part of Code Cloud Engineer. So these exercises are from Code Cloud Engineer, and this virtual environment is offered by them. So let's go through the console here. The name of the key pair should be this one here, DevOps KP, and the type of the key pair is RSA. So through the console, we go and click here. We copy the username, paste it here. Now we copy the password given to us, paste it here, and we sign in. So we go to EC2 instance, or we can search it. We can search for it in the services here, or you can type it here, EC2, and it will appear for you. Okay, so on the left panel, you scroll down to network and security and you go to key pairs, create key pair. The name of the key pair should be DevOps KP and the type is RSA. And that's it. Now we can go and click check and that's it. So here we enter another session, which is the same task. We just have a different name for the key pair and the type here is the same RSA. This time we want to do it through the AWS command line interface. So we go to the documentation in order to follow the syntax. And you can copy this piece of command, but I only need the three lines here copy them and paste them in the terminal. So the type is RSA, that's fine. The name of the key pair is the name given to us here. And we created the key pair. So we can view the key pairs here by another command, which is the describe command. So you can see them here. This is through the console. And this one here is by the describe key pairs command. You can choose only that much. It'll give you actually all the key pairs. Now we only have one because we created one. Or you can have all this command and the key pair name here, which is the key name. And by the way, you can view them also through the console. Take the username and the password. And you will definitely find it here. Here you go to key pairs, and this is it here. I opened a new session here, and this session is just to show you how to view the key pairs you created in the AWS terminal or CLI. So I already created the key pairs. You can see them here. So these are two key pairs. And this is optional, it's not related to the task, but it's good to see how these commands work. So let's take a look. If you wanna view the key pairs in AWS CLI, from the documentation, you copy this command. Now we only need that much in order to view them all. So just this part of the full command will show you all the key pairs and these are the same 
as you can see here name type fingerprint id and you can see them here but in case you just want to see the properties of a specific key pair therefore you use the complete command which is here from the aws documentation so the previous command we used which is this one just this part we add to it this part and the key pair name we would like to view the details for let's say we wanna see the details of the following key pair we use the key name and here we have it you may also tag the key pairs to manage them how to do this you can do it from the console so you can let's say take this one actions manage tags and you create it a tag let's call it tag one the value is optional but let's type in a random one value one you can save so now you can check the tag here you can add up to 50 tags all together so let's add tag two value two and you can also do this through the command line now let's create a tag for the other key pair and this time from the cli so to tag a key pair we can use aws ec2 create tags and the flag dash dash resources the resource name here is the key pair id which is this one in this example given to us in the documentation after that we insert dash dash tags and then we input the tag name which is the key here but this is actually the tag name and the value so let's do it through the terminal let's take the whole command here but before let's view the key pairs view them all okay so let's create the tag for the key pair here which is for the first one devops kp2 so what we need here is the key pair id so i'll take this part and now I'll take the key pair ID, which is the resource in this case, and the tag, take this part, and the key here is the name of the tag, I'll call it tag three, and the value is, let's call it value three. Let's describe key pairs again. And this time we can use the key name for the key pair which we created the tag for. So in this case, it's DevOps KP2. And here we have the tags which are tag three and its value, value three. We can also view it here. So it's for this one actions manage tags okay that's it now of course we can delete the tags you can delete it by clicking remove here let's say we want to remove the second tag and now when we describe key pairs you can see that tag 2 with its value is deleted you can also do this in the terminal. Let's take a look how. Okay, you wanna delete the tags. There is a certain command. Let's take a look. So AWS, CC2, delete tags. Okay, let's take this one. Then we will take the resources, the key pair ID. Let's take the one for DevOps KP2. And the tag you want to delete. 
the name of the tag which is you only have tag 3 and that's it let's describe pairs already gone let's try to delete the tags all the tags for let's say this one devops kp we're not gonna include any tags let's see it deleted them all and this will appear here in the key pairs you can just refresh and you can check them we have to grab one only so manage tags no tags here the same should be for the next one okay so that's it you can also delete your key pair either from the console actions delete let's delete this one okay copy paste delete here now let's take a look we only have one key pair let's try to delete it from cli let's take a look how to do this delete key pairs so we use this command after aws ec2 and we use the key name okay the key name here is devops kp return true we do not have key pairs anymore so that's it thank you for watching and we'll see you in later episodes mm -hmm.